being able to be out in the community to participate in activities is huge for a lot of people. I mean, even myself, I like being out and engaged with other people. When somebody with disabilities wants to get out of the community, I'm all for it. Being active and interacting with people is important for everyone. One of our residents, Michael, is a great example. Michael has, has really uh, found his footing in his independence. Um, he's been able to manage his life in a way that, you know, he, he never really thought was possible in this placement before. So I live in an apartment with two other roommates. Both are really cool. Everyone's just laid back. We've gone to sporting events together, which is fun. We've gone out to dinner numerous times. Feels really good to be able to have my own money. Able to do what I want to do at times is nice. The goal of this waiver is to give people in intermediate care facilities more options to move out into the community. And it has been life changing for so many of them. A lot of them were in these care facilities, but they're really quite healthy. They want to go out and go shopping. They want to go out and do community activities. I know a lot of clients that have lived in ICF settings and it's very rewarding to see them take that step of wanting to move out and transition into the community and see them do so well. Seeing somebody move out of the facility after 30 years, move in with family, not have to be as reliant on meds and really thriving, that's, that's just so rewarding. Rachel is my daughter and we've been on this journey for 25 years. She's worked at a couple of jobs since she was 18 and she loves it because she loves people and she loves to talk to people. So it, she really grew in her skills, uh, people skills, and she was learning how to uh, do clothing and talk to people, welcome people into their business. And I think that it's been really good for her. We usually go out to eat dinner. We sit at our own table, talk. We take the train, the UTA tracks, and a bus. Um, I like our independence on the train that they can trust us enough to go get where we're going. My happiness, I, I get to choose what I want and how I can do things. I get options. I get options there. By including people in the community, I think is the best way that DSPD is getting over the stigma and kind of negative light that people with disabilities have had for years now by people with disabilities interacting with the community, getting jobs, participating, volunteering, just being involved in everything. A lot of people are opening up to seeing that somebody with disabilities is no different. It's just something that they struggle with or something that could be a superpower for them even. And so just being able to see as a community that people with disabilities are no different than you or I or, you know, it's being involved in community is the biggest thing.